Uh, the older I get, the more often I have to. What's up, guys? Can I talk to you? Really? Alright, rude. Time flies, doesn't it? I can't believe you all have been here for a month already. Are you getting acquainted with the town? Certainly looks like your business is going well. That reminds me, I should get back to work. Let me know if you need anything. Do you need anything? We got here. Ooh, a silk bolero. We have a lot of money here. Wouldn't hurt to um buy stuff for Alice. That for you. Buy this as well. We have a lot of cash. About all this stunning cape. I don't even want to bother getting a Western belt without Yuri. Doesn't seem really useful. I don't have any of these. We should get, like, one of these. I probably should have had this for that boss fight, but, you know. I didn't. Because money... We didn't have as much money before. The width of the hit area increases by 20%. We have one of those. Actual items might be what I need here. And also buy mana roots. Boom, boom. Might as well get these. Make sure I save enough for acupuncture too, though. Uh, that should be fine. Actually, no, tents. I want to buy tents, and then we're fine. I feel like five. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but sometimes the judgment ring hit area is bigger per item. I don't know if that's like depending on how many things you get or how what item it is, but sometimes it looks bigger. But that might just be me. All right, not gonna worry about acupuncture right now because we have two mages. What's the matter, Alice? You seem depressed. Are you thinking about the kid again? Huh? Oh, it's just that I can't believe it's been half a year already. I asked Margaret to bring me to Europe, but what? What if he's dead? Don't be ridiculous. You know that kid's not the kind that dies so easily. Even if he has been absorbed by a monster, so long as his soul remains alive, we'll meet again. And besides, your sixth sense tells me tells you that he's still alive, right? I'm not sure, but that's how I feel. Don't you believe that if we continue our work, we're bound to run into him again? Yes, I did. Hello, stranger. What can I do you for at this hour? Um, I heard I could find some exorcists here. No, this is not Tales of Berseria. You heard wrong. Well, that's us. If you've come looking for us, I assume you need something exercised. Yes, my name is Terry. I came from Bistriz, a small village east of here. I run a general store. Bistriz? That's quite a trip. It must have been quite a hard journey. By the look on your face, I'd say you must have had good reason. Why don't you tell us your story? Right, it's... it's like this. My village is attacked by vicious monsters every night. Vicious monsters? It started about a month ago. Every night, dark shadows surround the village. They're... they're not human. No matter how many bullets they take, they don't die. So many villagers have lost their lives. I heard a rumor about you from a friend, so here I am. Are they ghosts or demons, I wonder? Go on, tell us everything you know. Well, Bistris is a small village located about two days' walk east of here. A lord used to rule the village, but his bloodline died out some 300 years ago. The strange thing is that since the attack began, there have been lights seen in the castle windows. Are the monsters in the castle related in any way? I don't know. There's no history of any of our liege lords ever attacking his people. However, in the off chance that it does involve the castle, I would like you to go investigate. I'm here on behalf of my village to ask you for your assistance. Will you accept the job? So, it would seem that you've got two assignments for us. One, getting rid of the monsters attacking the village. Two, investigating the Lord's castle. Yes, even at this moment, the monsters are preying on my village. I'm so worried about my wife and daughter. You're our only hope. Let's check it out, Zhu Margaret should be back soon, too. 
Can she come back, like, right now? Because I do not want to do combat with just these two. Alright, leave it to us. We'll eradicate those monsters for you. You will? Oh, thank you. We're waiting for one of our companions, but once she arrives, we'll go straight to Bistriz. Bistriz. Wonderful. I'll head back and tell them the good news. Just wait for us to get back there. Get there, okay? We'll be right behind you. Certainly. Excuse me. Okay, good. I think they're gonna have us wait for Margaret first. Sounds like another tough job. Bistriz has an old reputation for being a target for monsters. I've heard the same. It's always been a poor village. I've never heard anything good about it. Haha, <laughs> well, we're acquainted with monster dens, constantly wandering into them back in Asia. Jujin, do you think Terry will be okay? I have a bad feeling about this. Now, now, stop trying to scare me. Margaret will be here soon, then we'll be off. Yeah. What was that? It can't be. We have to find Terry. Oh, I thought Terry was back here. Oh, Terry, where you at? Ah, oh, monsters! <laughs> what? What's with this terrible, even evil I perceive? the battle theme. Birdman? Not on my watch. Get wrecked. Oh wow, you died one hit. I think they account for the fact that we have two mages here. Yo, level up. Let's go. Terry, you alright? Oh, they followed us. Please save the village. M Michelle. Nina. Terry. Damn, we were too late. We should have stayed with them. There's something we could have done. That evil I was feeling, this was no ordinary monster. You felt it too, surely? That blood-sucking hag could have killed us too, if we weren't careful. Words. Yes, it's the first time I felt such evil in Europe. Jujin, I don't think we can wait for Margaret. No! I think you're right. Maybe the two of us should go on ahead to Bistris. Yeah. Alright, well. Guess we're going to Bistris on our own. Dems the brakes. So, this is Bitstritz. There certainly is a spooky air about the place. It's been quite a while since I felt such a strong, ghostly presence. This is exciting. Don't be overconfident. First, we should look for Terry's shop. Yeah, let's do that. I just wish we weren't the ones who had to break such bad news about Terry. It's locked. Also locked. There's a sign for a weapon shop, but the door seems to be tightly closed. Ah, it's a monster! Cowardly person? Somewhere nearby? Who is it? Dad, is that you? Dad, is that you? Come inside! Who are you? We're the exorcist from Prague. Terry asked us to investigate this village. Exorcist? Where is my husband? Ooh. Ooh, uh... Yeah, why don't you tell him, Zhuzhen? Terry is. Nina, why don't you go play over there? Mom? I 
I see. Mommy, is Daddy dead? Will he ever come back? I'm afraid not, Nina. Daddy went to call these people to come save the village. He. I'm so sorry. I wish we'd realized it sooner. Maybe we could have saved your father. No, that's all right. The important thing is you came. We'll do whatever we can. We'll do everything we can. I'm sure we'll be able to send the monsters packing. Thanks, Mister. Oh, Mayor. Hi there, Nina. Michelle, I heard that some strangers were seen coming into the shop. That'd be you folks, I suppose. I'm the mayor of this village. The name's Kevin. We're exorcists from Prague. The master of the shop asks us for our services. Aha, so that's what's going on here. Most reassuring. And where's Terry? He's not with you? After Terry gave us this assignment, he was attacked by monsters. I see. Sorry to hear that. I don't know what to say. You have my deepest condolences. It's such a shame just when you made arrangements to move to America. But you needn't worry. I'll make sure you're taken care of. Please do your best to cheer up. Kevin, you don't have to worry about us. Nina and I have each other. Now we're not strangers, so don't hesitate to call on me anytime. Whatever concerns you may have. Well, I guess I'll be going. I should warn our two exorcists that the monsters appear when the fog turns red. Please be careful. Were you all planning on going to America? Yes, a good friend of my husband's is in New York. He sent us a lot of gifts. And took good care of us from... Took good care of us from this fall. He was going to help us with work over there. But now... He's a famous professor at New York University who grows flowers. I see. Oh, we get to go to, we get to go to America in Shadow Hearts from the New World. I wonder. New York is where the main character resides in Shadow Hearts Three. I don't think that's like a callback or anything. I don't think there's a there's a university you go to in Shadow Hearts from the New World. That'd be really cool if they were actually talking about some random NPC that you can find in the third game. That being said, I don't remember what year from the New World takes place from, because it's like, it's in the 1900s, but it might be like a different time period. Because this is like World War I time. Well, let's you and me go take a look around outside. We need to explore the village a little more. Ma'am, what can you tell me about the castle where the Lord of this Domain used to live? The Nobleman's Castle? Yeah, the people of Bitstreets call it Blue Castle. Yo, the best color. It's an ancient castle past the forest east of the village. It was deserted 300 years ago. No one goes near it. Are the monsters coming from that castle? No, there's no monsters in the castle. Nina, you promise not to tell you promise not to tell that silly story anymore. But mom. I'm sorry. Please find out what you can about the village. I'm awfully tired. We have to rest. We'll be leaving then. Sorry that I brought you such bad news. If you think of anything else we should know, please be sure to tell us. Sorry, we won't let your father's death go to waste. Yeah, Shadow Hearts 3 takes place in the Americas. While well, these two are more like Eurasia focused. The fog is turning red. So it's time for the monsters to show up. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I was this excited. Alright. We'll be seeing what's up with that university if there's any kind of connection there when we get to Shadow Hearts 3. Hello, how would you like some blessed light? Did you guys live, by the way? Up, up, 
Oh, so close to a triple perfect. Actually, wait, let me go east here. See if there's like a chest or something or an item. It had a little question mark. Feels like something is breathing quietly. They have a little, like, um, what's it called? Yeah, like, question marks when you can find items. The gate is sturdily locked. A dark and seemingly endless forest stretches across the other side. I guess I'm going the other way. Surrounded. Yo, it's the handstanding cat. It's not even the cat. It's like a. Is that a. What is that? Oh, it's a dog. Police dog. <laughs> that is very funny. Mailman. Time to die. light it vanished away okay never mind I'll just miss It's locked. What's up here, huh? There's a rusty sounding from the yada yada. I feel something evil from the other side of the door. This is the mayor's house, right? Hmm. Did you notice how Michelle and Nina were kind of cold to the mayor? Something's fishy here. Let's ask the people here. It sounds good. Does anyone want to chat? The mayor? Ah, oh, you mean Kevin? He became mayor because he was rich. He's been doing strange research for a long time, but I heard he's having some money problems now. Mayor's research? Yeah, I know all about it. How he be digging all over for some gold. Gold, Bitstritz, has always had frozen ground. Never be able to produce more than a hair's droppings. Have to make do with the with little beastie meat and hides and such we get, yada yada. Devil's deal? You mean a deal with the devil? How lucky of you. So close. Up, up, um, Rockstorm. Um, burn. Let there be light, etc.
You stupid police dog, thinking you stand a chance against me. Let me in. Hey Alice, my mom's feeling sick. I'll look after the shop while she rests. Nina, can I ask you something? The mayor. What kind of person is he? Did you tell me anything? I don't like him. He keeps bothering my mom. He also keeps asking to see all the gifts my mom, my dad gave me. From your dad? He gave you lots of gifts? Yeah, one of them is a leather from my dad's friend in America. It's got a cute little leather bag attached to it. It's my favorite. You still have it? Yeah, I hid it in a secret place. Hmm, so perhaps the mayor is just an oddball who doesn't seem to be very well liked. Maybe. Does that mean the monsters are coming from Blue Castle? The master of the castle would never be friends with monsters. You know the master of the castle? Castle words. There are no monsters in that castle. That blonde-haired master of the castle saved me from wolves. He did? Really? Yeah, a month ago, a person with big wings flew toward the castle. I ran after this person, but I got lost in the forest. Soon the wolves came after me. Then the master ran out of the castle to save me. Then what did the master of the castle do? The master of the castle took me back to the village and went home. My mom keeps saying that the master is a vampire. Oh, they had to have a vampire at some point in this horror RPG. She tells me that if people find out about this, they think I'm a vampire too. Did he suck your blood? No, the master was very nice. We joined hands and sang together. I find that very hard to believe, but sure. Maybe in some fantasy. Oh, really? So it seems there really is someone at the castle. Maybe we need to check that out first. But if what Nina said is true, then I wouldn't think the master and the monsters are related. But he might know something more about the red fog and the monsters. Alice, are you going to see the master? Then take this key with you. You can open the east gate with it. Yo, so, let's go. There are lots of wolves in the forest. Be careful. We'll be right back. Wait here with your mother, okay? Okay. Let's go.